Okay, this is how to time a 96 Isuzu Rodeo V6 3.2 engine. Now, this is a timing diagram that you can use. You notice there's three different marks that you have to line up on the timing belt with uh, marks on the camshaft and the uh, crankshaft. So the order you do things is important. Uh, the first thing you do is to line up the crankshaft on, let's see if I can get it on there, on this little mark, and you can just barely see a little half moon that uh, is cut out of the pulley, and you line those two up. Start putting the belt on by this little white mark here, and hopefully you can see there's some marks, little dots, form a line on the belt and you line this white mark up with those three dot or dots on the belt. So with the crankshaft belt on, you run in the belt up over the pulley, idler pulley, up to the driver's side camshaft, and you notice that there's I can locate it, you notice that there's a mark on the pulley, there's a mark on the belt, and there's a little pimple on the camshaft housing. So if you get those three lined up, clamp it down. That is important because otherwise you're going to pop it off and have to fight with it. So get clamps, little clamps. It doesn't take much. Run the belt under the water pump over to the passenger side and it has marks also and here you can pretty plainly see those on the pulley on the belt and then on the camshaft housing. This is going to line up once I release the tensioner. So it's not quite perfect right now. Now the tensioner is a trick. You put the bolt in for the tensioner pulley first and then put the one bolt in on the bottom. This is a hydraulic tensioner. You notice I've got a screwdriver in it right now to keep the uh, pressure off off the uh, tensioner uh, pulley itself. So put the bottom one in. You've got this one in. The problem is that the belt's really tight <clears throat> and what I found works pretty well is just put a board under the pulley, the tensioner pulley, uh, setting on the, uh, the board setting on the uh, alternator uh, housing or it's not the housing, it's some kind of a holder. You can pry it and while you're doing that, prying that up, you should be able to put the top bolts in the hydraulic tensioner, tighten everything up, check to make sure everything's still lined up on the three points and release the tensioner. And you should be good to go. So good luck. Hope you have success. Um, and I hope I never have to do this again.